Hi guys, uh, Tom here for another review. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and keep this review as short as I can. Um, what I'm going to review today is Totally Wicked's E pipe, and uh, I think I'm correct in believing that this is Totally Wicked's first E pipe. Um, I must point out that I got this free for review, um, but I will <coughs> keep my review honest and accurate and once again it is only my opinion on this product um, this is the nice box it comes in packaged very well as Totally Wicked's products usually are <coughs> uh, I'll go to close up cam and show you what's inside the box box let's have a look inside to the top off you can see there is your pie Take this off, just a little cover thing. <clears throat> so that should be in there. So in the box you get some you user manual. Explains everything. It's quite straightforward. Pipe. Right, you get two 18350s. There, totally wicked's 18350s. You get two cartridges in here which I'll explain those to you in a minute and two uh, sorry once you get one spare but it's got one in it so you do get two of the uh, atomizers two arm atomizers and I'll explain how they work as well <clears throat> and then you get your actual pipe which we'll have a look at in a minute you also get, <coughs> which doesn't come in the box, comes separate you get a Chinese to British adapter charger for your batteries that's your charger two little things on a the spring there and then the push into your socket, and obviously your socket goes into the wall. Now, these are not my favourite type of chargers. Um, safety wise, but I must say the, these are the best quality build out of all of these type I've ever used. Um, yeah. So that's all I've got to say about those. You do get a 10 mil bottle when you buy this. Um, and I think probably most shops would, if you buy it from a shop, would change the flavour. This is Wicked Cherry Pipe. Um, can't see it on there, can you? Anyway, yeah, that's what you get. And this is a 10 mil, 18 milligram. Most, if you don't like that flavour, most people probably change it for you but that is what comes with it obviously because it's a pipe flavour so that's the box right let's move the box out of the way now this is your pipe Um, sorry about the quality of the camera but it's an old style looking pipe Um, if you looked if you saw it from that angle there you absolutely have no idea that it's an electronic pipe Um. And it's heavy, it's very heavy, it's real wood, I think it's handmade. Um, it's a very nice finish on it. Um, so you basically, this bit here, this cap here screws off. There you go. And in there is your spring and yeah. You see spring basically. That slides in there, battery. Push it down. And you see it flash, so it made a connection. Now this is a fully automatic pipe, so this there's no button on this. It's just take a drag and it works basically. Screw that back on. The battery's in there. Now this pipe bit here just pulls off. Oh, that was a bit tight there, I don't know why, but um just pulls off. And basically what you've got here is 
a cartridge there which you get two of which you fill up there's a little hole in the end or the actual end comes off it's like a cap um, and I think you can buy these at ends with that ca uh, with that hole closed and when you push it in there's a little pin inside your, ca inside your atomizer and it pierces that so you, you can carry around spare um, cartridges pre-filled and you just unscrew this and pull it out and that there you see it is a, it is a 5 10 connection obviously but you know if we're going to get anything to go in there because it's obviously deep down inside there and I don't think this comes apart to show you how it all works no I don't think it does um, <clears throat> So basically this works by, if you've heard of Totally Wicked's um, Atomizer Head system, it's basically an enclosed capsule version of that. Uh, so if you don't know what that is, um, I have got another video on an Ego Twist, have a look at that, I explain it on that, or just go onto Totally Wicked website and have a look. Um, now it's a very good system for flavour, I find. Let's screw it all back together, screw that in, that's in there, then your cartridge, clicked in, and push this back on, and there, so that's a pipe. I'm going to go back to normal camera, give it a vape, and show you how it works. Right then, so back so this is the pipe close up devil on there mr wicked logo it says totally wicked on the bottom there so as you can see it's it's a nice it's a nice wood and it's 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 solid it's a solid lump of wood it's heavy feels nice in the hand um and as I said, this here, this top cap, is not a button. A lot of the <coughs> electronic pipes have got a button there that you press. It's totally automatic. Um, so I'll show you how it works and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So as you can see it vapes well, um, you can never tell very well in this room obviously because of the white background. <clears throat> Good throat hit, especially off the 18 milligram, I normally smoke about, uh, it's vape about 12 milligram, so it's, it's a bit strong for me but, <clears throat> I mean the pipe flavour, I've only ever tried a pipe once a long while ago. Um, It tastes similar-ish to a pipe. Um, it fla flavors good, throat it's good. Get a nice amount of vapor. The draw on it is <clears throat> at the tight end of how I would like it, but I, I don't. I quite like a tight. Draw, don't particularly like an airy draw, um, so that works for me. But obviously, that's personal preference. Somebody who likes a an airy loose draw, it's going to be no good for them. So, it's a very it's a very good product, and obviously, I've only got it for review purposes. Um, for someone's first pipe mod, it'd probably be very good. I mean, the price is um, six nine nine, which is not too expensive. But then I I I, I believe in you get what you pay for. So um, obviously. 
if you paid a lot cheaper the product's not going to be as good now my only issues with this my only bad points are the charger because I think e-cig companies need to move away from those sorts of chargers because there can be <coughs> a very small safety issue with them now they are the best quality uh, chargers I've, ha I've had of that type um, and they do say that they're fully tested and so on so that's one small issue my other issue is but this is only my personal preference is just that it looks too old and fuddy duddy it looks like an old man's pipe now that so, someone might think I'm talking rubbish they might love the look of this that's just my personal no, I'm not saying that I wouldn't use it but I wouldn't go out in public with it um, I prefer the ones that are all stainless steel and a bit more modern looking away from an original pipe and the fact that it's automatic and has this red light on it I just think if you're out in public in, a, in from a distance somebody might not realize what it was um, and maybe think it was an actual pipe that it, they, they are my only issues with it um, the more I've used it, the more I think that maybe I would purchase one, <clears throat> but only to use at home. I don't think I'd go out with it, just just for, literally for that fact that it looks probably like I'd stolen it off my granddad, and um, the fact that from a distance, I don't think most people would be able to realise um, just because it's not all if the one the modern ones that are all chrome and silvery and they have a button they don't light up so there's no nobody would I don't think anyone would associate it with tobacco smoking but this just does look like that and with the fact that it lights up people might think that it wasn't an electronic one so they are my only issues with it but it's a brilliant product. I love how heavy and solid it feels. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. So thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe or watch my other videos. Thank you.